You know, it's kind of messed up when you pay $200 for a pair of Warby Parker prescription sunglasses. And obviously I have a retainer in this now for these because I use these like every single day, especially for bike rides and hikes. And then you go to something like the Amazon blue light filtering echo frames generation two or second generation, if you will. And it just makes you reconsider where technology is going and just how to use glasses, period. Hey everyone, it's Adam. And in this video, that is what I'm reviewing today is the Amazon Echo Frames, the second generation. And obviously I, I'm a big fan of glass. I mean, I'm wearing glasses right now. I have to for my eyesight. So my experience with these has been a new level of inspiration for getting work done and just overall my workflow throughout the day. I gotta say, I'm, I'm pretty dang impressed. So. Let's get into the review. I hope this helps and thank you for watching ahead of time. So first things first, let's get into the design and how these feel on the head and really how they look. Now, I think I look fine in them. They, I mean, they're pretty thick frames, but I just kind of feel a little savvy when I wear them. <laughs> but how they feel when it comes to the design and building materials and quality, they feel a little cheap. You know, Amazon's using the cheapest plastic they can, in my opinion, that's what, that's what it feels like. But after using them for a while, they're just as lightweight as these, and these don't even have any speakers or any touch control. I mean, these ain't even, it's just glasses, you know what I mean? They're good glasses and they lasted me for a while from Rory Parker, but they don't have the tech that these have. So at first I knocked it, but then after using them, I kind of love how lightweight they are. And I would say my biggest complaint is not even how they feel when it comes to the quality. It's actually how glossy they are. I so wish they were matte. I'm like, come on, Amazon, you didn't have to go with that glossy. And I'll get into the touch controls on why I wish it was more matte, but I wish they just were, they felt different, I guess is the best way I can put it. But as far as how they feel, the design and look of them, I think they're great. Now, I was really doubting they were gonna sound good. I was like, okay, they're, yes, I can't compare them to in-ear headphones or over-the-ear headphones, there's no way. But in comparison to, let's say, bone conduction headphones, they're really comparable. I mean, there's not that much bass with these, but as far as listening to music, just to go off that first, I had no issues. I mean, I'm like, this is good enough to listen to really any genre where, yeah, hip hop is gonna be the bottom of the totem pole and how you fill your music. But as far as clarity and just, you know, the highs and the mids and any genre I listen to, I'm like, okay, this is good enough to really listen to music with in between workflows, going on a walk, things like that. But what I'm really impressed with is how good the audio is period when it comes to volume. And especially with podcasts and audiobooks and like YouTube content, you know, just spoken word content, whatever it is you're listening to. That to me is my favorite reason why for using these because of depending on what you do for a living, if you're listening to audiobooks or podcasts in between tasks and you're kind of multitasking like that, or you wanna use these because they're blue light filtering, and I'll get into my experience with that later, is you're gonna have a good time with them. I mean, it just changes the way I even watch like documentaries and movies and everything like that, where even in a coffee shop, because I've tested them in probably five different coffee shops or at least five different times in a coffee shop, and the biggest issue is having to have it at like 80%, 90% volume. And I'm thinking, but listen, these are audio glasses. like. So even then, I'm really pleased with how coffee shops can even drown out the sound. So for me, when it comes to sound, it's just such a different experience. I mean, it's nice to get a break from something clamping on your ears or something in your ear canals all day. So it changed the way to how much longer I listen to audiobooks and podcasts because it's just such an enjoyable experience. So they did a great job with the sound. Now, when it comes to the microphones, I'm gonna be honest and say I totally doubted they're gonna sound any good. So let's get into our microphone test so you can hear for yourself. All right, so first microphone test is gonna be in my quiet office. And the only thing I did was open up my window because I just wanted to see if even that ambient noise would come in. And then I'm gonna shut my window now just to see if that was even heard. And then I'm gonna type on my computer to see if any of this comes out. Okay, type, type. The Amazon Echo Frame second generation with uh, in a coffee shop with a lot of noise going on in the background and whatnot. It's not too busy, but there is music and things like that. So side note, I do hear a little bit of a side tone-ish kind of thing when I am on a call. So it, let's see how it sounds. So as you can hear in that microphone test, 
80% of the time I used my phone for phone calls and the only time I had issues with like latency or just people not being able to hear me is on my soft phone, but we're talking like a second delay kind of thing, you know, like, hello, hello, stuff like that. But that's kind of expected with soft phone. I get that with wired headsets. So for me, if you're using this for your phone, which I think most people are, I just don't see how you're gonna have any issues picking up a quick call at home in your office or using this all day for work like I did. I was really impressed. All right, now let's get into the blue light filtering and if I noticed a major difference with that compared to regular prescription glasses. Absolutely, I mean, in my opinion, I kind of wish these are prescription and blue light filtering. I know you can get that, but for me, you probably have to go third party or I'll have to double check if you can do it with Amazon. But for me, I noticed it, especially after the second day. And the biggest thing I noticed is my eyes at the end of the day with my workflow after eight, 10 hours, especially at night, because that's when I really wanted to use them, especially to get better sleep. I'm not gonna get nerdy and be like, I have technical data and analysis on this. No, I just know physically my eyes feel better. And yes, you gotta incorporate more habits if you have struggling with that, like I do, where your eyes are super red and dried out all the time. It could be climate conditions, it could be all kinds of stuff. But for me, living in a dry climate, I do look out the window from time to time and this and that. But these for sure help. I noticed a major difference to where by the end of the day, I just even noticed during my work day, I'm blinking more and just, I don't feel so dried out in my eyes and I just don't feel so fatigued, period. I mean, you know, we're not meant to be staring at a computer screen all day. So whatever you can get to help definitely helps. <laughs> and so if you're wondering like how these feel when you're working in front of a computer all day, I would say definitely get the blue light ones. I don't know what the sunglasses are like. That's for outdoor use, obviously. And the Plano, I think is kind of, not even, it doesn't make sense for me. I'm like, you may as well just spend the extra money to get blue light filtering because blue light even comes from light bulbs and kitchen lights and all kinds of other stuff. It's not just computers or TV screens or your cell phone. There's all kinds of blue light, you know, emitting in your day to day. So if that's what you're concerned about, definitely get these, you're gonna notice they help. All right, let me go over the functionality and the buttons of these with the user guide. My biggest complaint is the touchpad. So let me just go through this real quick and you'll see what I mean when I get to it. They are very thorough and detailed in this packet. I mean, this is pretty much all you need. Everything is in here on how to use these. So you can pause either of these frames as I'm going through it if you just wanna take your time looking through it. But for me, I would say when it comes to controls, the action button, no issues with on any of these, especially when it comes to powering on and pairing, it's very seamless. But with increasing volume and decreasing volume, that's very straightforward. This is the issue I had, is namely the swiping to accept the call notification or decline it. The swiping is a little weird, but I can see why they had to enable that because when you're tapping it, I mean, you can only do so many taps before you have to figure something else out. I didn't have any issues with pausing media or resuming media. So it does work majority of the time for its intended function don't have any issues with it overall. The status light colors, those don't interfere at all with my vision or just, I mean, you barely notice it's there. It's bright enough for you to see it, but I had no issues with that as well. The care instructions, IPX4 water resistance, I haven't really used any cleaner besides using a microfiber cloth to really clean these. That's just what I've been using because you're not gonna get any scratch and you don't have to worry about what type of cleaner you're using. I mean. I don't know how dirty you can get these. Maybe you'll use them outside, but that's just what I use. Just, you know, just FYI. Overall, it just goes through the fit and things to try, like resume my audiobook, play the podcast, play news, etc. So again, you can pause this if you want. And then of course that leads us to the battery life. So you get four hours of nonstop listening time on a full charge or two hours of talk time. Now, when it comes to how long these take to charge, it takes about an hour and 45 minutes. So for me, um, yeah, I, I turned them off and turned them on off and on just because I love the blue light filtering. So you really kind of have to be intentional with your workday on what you're gonna use these for because it takes two hours to drain the battery when using them for phone calls and then almost two hours to charge it. So you really proceed with your own caution, I guess, on a battery life, but it's all right. It's not the best feature of these. All right, let's get into the app real quick. When it comes to the app, my favorite thing is how detailed the instructions are and how much you can do, how much is integrated with an app. So let's say if you wanna know what auto volume is, 
has a little video to let you know this adjusts the volume based on your environment. So it uses the microphones to determine how loud your environment is. To me, it works pretty dang accurately. I, I actually love that feature. Auto off is really flipping these upside down to turn them off. Like maybe you're having a long day and need to take a break or something, but it turns off in like three seconds. You can create shopping lists and do all kinds of stuff, especially with Alexa skills. I am such a newbie to this, but I think again, the best way you're gonna get the most value out of that is if you're tied into the Amazon ecosystem. Alexa, call my phone, start my day. There's just so much to this. I am such a new, I probably would have to make a separate video just on this stuff. But when it comes to communication and all these things, again, I don't have any Amazon devices or anything like that. So I'm sorry, but I can't really show you much more than what I'm showing you now. I just don't have any Amazon Echo or any other products from Amazon. But I would say my favorite thing is using the play section, namely because I use Audible a ton. I have dozens and dozens of books. But even in this app, you can integrate Apple Podcasts, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever it is. For me, I don't really need to integrate that because I have all those downloaded on my phone, but it is nice to know you can integrate them into the app. So for $269.99, what do I think about the price of these and if they're worth the price? Well, just by my body language, the biggest thing I'm debating on is I kind of wish they came with polarized lenses and interchangeable blue light filtering lenses. For me, if they did that, or if you're gonna get the Plano ones, I kind of wish the price would stay the same and they had an option to do prescription lenses for any of these pairs. I don't understand why they have four different pairs. Why, I mean, for $269.99, you have competition with Bose and you have competition with the Razer Anzu Smart Glasses, which I'm reviewing and will be comparing with these. And so far in my experience, not to go too in depth with that, that'll be a separate video, Amazon has major competition. And the biggest reason why I would say these are worth $269.99 is if you're in the Amazon eco ecosystem, you really have to be using a lot of Alexa skills. Your home has to be an Amazon home and Alexa home, in my opinion, for you to get the full benefit of these. Because using the app, that's where I just noticed that's the highlighted feature of Amazon's ecosystem with these. But if you're just looking for audio glasses and smart glasses, period, I'm kind of leaning more towards Razer and Bose, but definitely Razer since that's the pair I'm comparing these with because they have those interchangeable lenses. So for me, they're great. They're great, you know, audio glasses, smart glasses, but only if you're in the Amazon ecosystem. If you're not, I would suggest going with something else. So that's the best way I can put it. And that may be an obvious, maybe a sway around answer because I had a great experience with these. But that $69.99 dollar amount difference makes a huge difference in your purchasing decision. So I truly hope that helped. Maybe this review alone will help you make a decision. But these are great. I had a fantastic time with them. Most impressive thing to me is those dang microphones. I highly underestimated that. It definitely changes your workflow. I'll put it that way. So working from home, these are great. Thank you for watching this. Truly appreciate it. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you on the next video.